welcome to my channel and um, welcome to uh, my breakfast I'm about to make and I'm going to be doing it with the Just Egg product, some leftover greens, a little bit of Daiya cheese, some extra virgin olive oil, tomato, and some seasonings. So if this looks good, hang around, we'll make it together. So I'm going to take about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil into my um, iron skillet. And we're going to go ahead and use the Just Egg product. This product is um, amazing. It tastes, looks, feels exactly like an actual egg from a chicken. Only there's no chicken involved. Um, go ahead and open up the little packet. They're in the freezer compartment of most of the uh, grocery stores. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that in the skillet. I like to use an iron skillet because I really feel that it's more, uh, it, it's, it's healthier and uh, you do get a little iron from it. So. I'll go ahead and put my egg product from the freezer right into there's really no need to um, defrost it so we're gonna put it right on the iron skillet and then we're gonna take some leftover greens whatever you happen to have in the fridge I happen to have some kale some sauteed delicious kale that I sauteed with some sweet onion and some sliced almonds I'm gonna go ahead and put that at the end of the video the um, the recipe and the video for that uh, particular kale it's really 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 delicious and very tender so we're gonna go ahead and saute this in the iron skillet for eh, maybe three to four minutes on uh, medium heat and we're going to um, saute that down and by the way the just egg is made from mung bean which is a very very healthy uh, protein there's about seven grams of protein in just one of these uh, just eggs so we flipped it over. It's going to be a little bit golden brown on the other side. And um, we're going to take the just egg once we flipped it after about four minutes or so. And we're going to dice it. So I just do it right in the pan itself. I'm going to go ahead and dice up the just egg. And this actually is um, starting to look more and more like a scrambled egg. So we go ahead and dice it up. And then I like to incorporate my vegetables into the pan with the with the just egg and we're going to just really really incorporate that together all the flavors are together the onions the kale the egg the almonds are getting even more toasted really really delicious we're going to head and cook that for maybe uh, maybe another maybe another minute or two until it's all nice and warm and then um, after we do that we're going to add our final ingredient which is going to be some uh, some diet cheese if this is a um, new lifestyle for you, the vegan, vegetarian, plant-based, um, definitely this is a good substitute if you're missing your eggs. Now we're gonna put a little bit of, I've been using the Morton Light Salt, just to cut down on sodium a little bit. Uh, I love the, my favorite, the coarse ground, California style garlic powder with parsley. Sprinkle that on a little bit, I'm gonna mix it up. At this point, you can put some fresh ground black pepper. If you like a little kick, you can put some uh, red pepper flakes. And uh, yeah, however you like your seasoning, you can add some more garlic if you like a little bit more garlicky. So there I am testing it, making sure that it's nice and warm so that my cheese will melt. So I'm gonna take my daya, daya, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, cheddar cheese shreds and this is found in this refrigerator section of your supermarket along with some other non-dairy products and we're gonna sprinkle on the uh, cheddar cheese and I gotta tell you guys this stuff melts like cheese tastes like cheddar cheese and it's an all-natural vegan product with all the good stuff and none of the bad stuff no cholesterol it's just a really really delicious um, alternative uh, but it gives the uh, the egg mixture a nice little kick. So we're going to let that melt and then uh, plated it. And now I'm going to take a nice ripe tomato. Tomatoes, this time of year, it's November right now. And this time of year, our garden has seen its last tomato. So it's not as good as fresh tomatoes out of the garden in the summertime. But these I get from the supermarket and I get the vine uh, or tomatoes off the vine. And they usually are better than like your, your greenhouse or your hothouse tomatoes. 
Uh, not as good as the summertime, but not too, not, not too shabby. So we're going to dice the tomatoes up. We're going to add a little bit of that uh, Morton salt, a little bit of the, a little bit more of the, um, the coarse ground garlic powder with parsley, another drizzle of the olive oil, a little bit more fresh ground black pepper to your liking. And then we're going to mix it all up. There you go. And doesn't that look delicious? So there you go. There is my delicious breakfast that I am going to enjoy. Yummy, yummy. So we're going to give it a, uh, a quick little taste test. There I go. Little, take a little bit of the egg, a little bit of the kale. And whatever vegetable, by the way, that you happen to have in the fridge, you know, you want to mix it in there, go ahead and do it. And um, there you go. And delicious, delicious. So that's my breakfast for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.